What up, world? What up, media? This is Dre Wise. Coming at like this. Dre Wise Topics. Today's topic I want to talk about is a particular being that you religious folks know of, but you do not know him like a friend. You know of this being. He's evil. He's wise. He's twisted. And most of all, he's powerful, but not as powerful what, like he once was. That being is Lucifer, a.k.a. Devil, a.k.a. Satan. This being that I'm talking about, he knows the Quran, he knows the Holy Bible, he knows the New Living Translation Bible, that's the Joe Williams Bible, he knows that Bible. He knows the King James Version Bible. He knows all holy Bibles of religion, whatever. He knows all of that. Okay. We, most religious folks, or well I could say majority religious folks, read about this. They read that uh, the devil was in the garden where Adam and Eve was created at, as a so-called purpose on earth, as a home and environment, the devil was right there. Because the devil was cast down here at that time. And he still is cast down here. Okay, the devil, we read about the one that um, Jesus, you know, went out in the wilderness for 40 years. 40 days and 40 nights being strengthened by God. And the devil was right behind Jesus every step of the way, tempting this man to want Jesus to worship him. It says that in the word. The devil was keep uh, trying Jesus, and, you know what I'm saying, trying him for 40 days and 40 nights, you know. And Jesus shut him down all the time. Just shot him down. Okay. When the point is, I'm getting that. The devil is not a being of red, a pitchfork tail, and some horns. No. The devil looks like you and I. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell it. He is not us. His makeup is not human or mortal. It's not like us. Because the devil is angelic, but he also is demonic. You know what I'm saying? So, when God said this, let us create man in our image. So, that means he's talking, about to, talking to somebody else and saying our. He's talking to somebody else and need help with this. So, that means that he said create man in our image. So, what us man look like, that what God looks like, but God is not us. He's it's not our makeup like us, but God looks like us. So the angels look like us. Fast forward. The devil did this, you know what I'm saying, with a wise attention, you know what I'm saying, and a wise suggestion and an opinion that he think. You know the story. <clears throat> The devil cannot persuade Adam to do this at all. But who did he cho He done this to? Eve. He persuaded Eve to do this. When God said, the God I'm talking about, his name is Jehovah. That's his proper name, Jehovah. Um, Eve departed from uh, Adam. Adam went his way. E with another. So Satan was right there when God commanded them not to eat of this fruit off this tree. God said, if you eat off this tree, Jehovah said this, if you eat off this tree, of this particular fruit of this tree that has all these fruits on it, you will surely die. It means you can eat off all the other trees, but this tree do not eat off of. <clears throat> That's that. So Satan was in the cut 
listening, like in the cut, listening. Hmm. Instantly, in Satan's mind, Lucifer's mind, he's like, oh yeah, I can't try this man at all. I can get you, woman, because you're the weaker vessel. I can get you. You think opposite of a man. So, it's just that. He went her way. She got approached to this tree that she wasn't supposed to touch or get near or not even bite off of. That was right there. In your right mind, man or woman, in your right mind, if you see a particular being like a, a serpent, snake, immediately come up to you and start opening his mouth, start talking, you will, in your right mind, you will hot tell it in 60 seconds. Me, I hot tell it in 20, 20 seconds that fast. If I saw a serpent talking like that, because that's unnatural. That's not the nature of a snake to do that, to talk. So, whoa. The point is, when God says to Eve not to eat off this tree, you will surely die. And Eve said that to Satan, Lucifer. He said that, she said that to Lucifer. Lucifer, Lucifer did a slick ass suggestion of opinion. He said this to this woman. And as this woman believed that. He said this in a slick play away. You're not going to die. You're not going to die at all. Who told you? God, he said you're going to die. Mm -hmm. You're not going to die. Your eyes is going to be open like a God. You know what I'm saying? You'll be just like God. You know, God did not tell you that. He just told you you're surely going to die. That's not what God means. I'm going to tell you how, what, he, what he's saying and interpret what he's saying. He's saying your eyes is going to be open. You'll be just like a God. You'll be beautiful. You'll be all powerful. You know? And Eve's mind, oh, really? That's what God's really saying? But he told me not to do that? And Satan over there saying, yeah, God's telling you this. God's telling you. He don't want you to do it because he don't want you to be like him. You know, be powerful. He wants you to be a weak human mortal. But if you eat up this tree, you will become a god. Oh, boy. That is a prime example of this. If a woman uh, out in the world today listen to some man um, on this side saying this, that don't sound right to her or, or whatever, or she's, it, it sounds right, you know what I'm saying? But not understanding what this man is saying. And this other man comes about on the other side. Say this to this and that. You know what I'm saying? The opposite way. He said, oh, that's what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? That objective worked. He bit off that fruit. And then Adam came around and said, what you do? And Eve told him a story. About what the serpent said. Adam did the exact same thing. Bit off the, the fruit. God come walking in the garden. He like, okay, uh-huh. You did that. You listened to that, you listened to that damn serpent. You listened to that damn devil. I said, you, if you do this, you would die. You want to die? Get out this garden. The devil used these things. Like, you know what I'm saying, persuasion and a slick ass way of a common sense way. And he flip it and on, on his own understanding and take what God said and turn it around and all that stuff like that. The devil is powerful, but not as powerful as he was. He is not, he's not at all beautiful anymore, you know what I'm saying. So, this devil is a trip, you know what I'm saying. This devil is a trip. He's a slick ass trip, you know what I'm saying. He's wise, you know what I'm saying? He's very wise, and he has, like, a twisted common sense, like, not right. You know what I'm saying? So, and about Jesus. When Jesus went out in the wilderness to be strengthened by God, by Jehovah, for 40 days and 40 nights and stuff like that. Out in the wilderness that long, you know what I'm saying, being strengthened by God, the devil was right behind. 
The devil was talking all types of smooth stuff and blah, 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 blah. But Jesus was smart. He was smart. Jesus was a smart man. He listened what the devil said like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Every time he heard that from the devil, that long, for that many days and them many nights, he said all, all the time, shot him down, shot him down, shot him down, repeatedly. And the devil came back with something. He thought of something more, the slicker to say, of a reasoning, wise thing to say. When he took Jesus on uh, a high um, uh, building or something, building or something, you know what I'm saying? And he showed Jesus all these things that is good and he can have power and rich and stuff like that. And he said, well, it was stupid out of the devil's mouth. He said this. If you, I can give you all these things. All these things. Rich and fame and power and all these things. If you bow down to me. Jesus, Jesus thought instantly like, hmm. Hmm. Let me interpret what Jesus said. Why should I bow down to something that those not is not as powerful and here, you know what I'm saying? And really, I bow down to something that is all powerful, rich in strength, rich in wisdom, rich in all things. He's the ruler of the universe, ruler of the living, breathing things. That is Jehovah. So I bow down to something that's way powerful than you. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Shot him down again. The devil is, he's wise, he's wise, he got some common, he, not really common sense, but it, it's wise, like a common sense twisted, like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that, but that was, this devil is a trip, you know what I'm saying? The devil is a trip, and check this out. It's similar to what the devil does. If a teenager that do not, or ever, or never, uh, smoked, or drink or do dope or whatever whatever you're not supposed to do. And some teenager does these things, and if the teenager does these things, say to the teenager that do not do these things, he will say, Would you like to hit this? Would you like to drink it? Would you like to try this? And the teenager that do not do these things say, No, I don't do that. Uh, my parents say not to get into this. See that? My parents say not to get into this at all. And this teenager over here that do these things say this. Do you always do what your parents say? Do you always do what your parents say? And some right, if the teenager's strong enough, will say this, uh, yes. But if a teenager that's like this, that do not do these things, have a weak mind and say this, not always. You know? So, that's some of the similarities that the devil will use. Do you always do what God say? Do you always do what Jehovah say? Tripped out. Tripped out, yo. It's tripped out. That devil is a trip. He's very wise. But it's twisted. You know what I'm saying? If you listen, you listen. It don't it it, it comes off right, but it's it's very twisted. You know what I'm saying? Very. Like I said, the devil knows the Bible. He knows the Quran. He knows the King James Version. He knows the New Translation Version, which is the Jehovah Witness um, book Bible. He knows all these but these Bibles out there. He knows these things, but he also twists it around of his own understanding and make it as so much sense and so much wisdom and all that stuff like that, which the wisdom is a lie and a twist and a flip. For real. This devil is a trip, yo. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the devil, he has power, but not as like he was. And that's how he work on certain people, possess certain people that's into things they're not supposed to be into, like witchcraft and uh, all this dope and drinking and all that, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And he possesses them, you know what I'm saying, their minds and their heart. He enter into they, these, human, these humans' bodies like that and can take control of them, you know what I'm saying, do wicked things. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the devil, he's angelic, but he's also demonic, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that. So, express your opinion in a comment, like, share, subscribe. This is all about opinions, yo. This is all about opinions. When you express your opinion in a comment, I'm going to read it. Not going to reply back. Just read it. So, Dre Wise Topics. Peace.